A new day, a new project, a new fixing. In fact, you see, I have this uh, antimatter charge soon, and I have this balanced charging plate, and I observed a really strange behavior. Okay, so let's power on the charger. Here we go. And let's have a little polymer here. Let's put it on monitor. And look there. 322, 4.06, 398. One of the elements it's uh, it's really going down okay same story but if i connect this to the other arm i may say look there 394 406 398 i really don't know what's happening but it's looking like this side of the things it's, uh, it's something wrong with it. I'm not sure. Let me try this connection here. Same story, 322. Let me have another battery. Oh, shut up. Look there, 309, 382, 381. This is really strange. Next connector, same story, same story. Same, absolutely same. So it's looking like this row over here is ruined. But I'm not sure. This set is balanced charging plate. Does it have a balancing in there? I don't know. Let's check it out. Let me disconnect this. And now let's dismantle the thing. We have a fuse over here, 40 amps. This is really nice. And two connectors for connecting to the charger. It should be really interesting to see if there is a balancing something in there. You know, I don't understand how this one is not opened yet because everything in my house, it's opened, checked and rechecked or just open for fun to see what's inside there. I think you know what I mean. Okay. This one just escaped, but here we go. Oh, yes. And what the heck, nothing special here. No electronics, anything, just a pure connection board with connection on both sides of the board with, with circuit. Doesn't look like anything wrong here. Oh yes, look there. <laughs> pam pam. You see this? It was a problem. Okay, let's fix that. So it should be really easy to have a soldering piece of wire. What is my flux? Rosine, Rosine, clear Rosine is the best flux ever. I'm using this since the beginning of electronics. When, uh, when I used to have crystal radios. So this one goes here. I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna clean the end. At least here is steady. I can see that. Okay. okay. Perfect. Let's clean it up a little bit. Apply rosin flux and we'll have a piece of wire. But I'm I'll try to to have that uh, isolated somehow. Always clean the tip. Well, there's nothing special here. It's just one of those kitchen washing this is something, you know, metallic, metallic, not plastic. Okay, Rosin. And here too. Wire. Well, I'm not sure how strong is that one. If it's just for this port, so it shouldn't be too strong. But like I said, I'm trying to have it isolated because we have all these other connections here. 
okay so that's okay over there how long i think that should be enough rosin and let's put it in place Yes, and I can recall when this was happening one, yeah, years ago. You see this one here, it's fixed. It's, uh, it's a new connection here. This one, it's new. Uh, and this one, it's pretty oxidized, but okay. Let's not talk about that. So this one is replaced. And here, because of the pin went out or something, it was a short, but I didn't care in those times because it was working. Or maybe I didn't use this too much on this side. So it's, uh, it was only this. So I didn't notice that. That's funny. Okay. Let's go over here. This one was the problem. Oh, we can do it like, ah, oh, perfect. We don't need this for balancing and, but let's put it in there anyway. Perfect. There we go. 381. Yes, easy. Yes, mystery solved. Let's screw it back. And that's it for today. I hope it's useful. So over here is nothing electronic, it's just a connecting, uh, it's just a connecting something. And as long as I'm here, let me, let me have this a little better because it's looking pretty ugly. Told you before, this one was never open. How comes, I don't know. Usually I'm opening everything just to see what's inside there, don't you? I like this, the fuse is very important, but it's funny. It was a short only here with the small ones. Okay, doesn't matter, it's solved. And by the way, TS100, the one I'm working now, have a replacement uh, LCD, it's a LED LCD, more than one year ago, and you can see that it's running really, really nice. People ask me about if you want to fix yours, because I think it's a kind of a general problem with a TS100. Many people complain about that. So if you want to fix yours, you have a link up there, up there. Just press it and see how I did it. Well, I think I need more power. Let's go to 400 degrees. Yes, done. All the others are pretty okay. Let's have the screws back. And that's it for today, people. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to have fun. I'll be back with some new projects soon. Bye-bye.